Our speaker this morning is Elder Gordon B. Hinckley, assistant of the Quorum of the Twelve. Brother Hinckley gave the commencement address to the graduating class of 1958. This is his first appearance before the student body as a member of the General Authorities. He's also a member of the Board of Trustees of Brigham Young University. I have a full page of many things about this good brother, but as I sat down here, he said, now, if you're the one that's to introduce me today, I'd appreciate it if you just delete all the fancy talk and let me get along with the battle. Your presence is reassuring. I cannot understand how I agreed to come here today. As Brother Lee's indicated, we've just concluded a general conference and a number of associated meetings. I'm hoarse from speaking and feel drained of things to speak about. One of the many things I love about our dear President Hinckley is his bright mind and his love for learning. He inherited a vast library of books from his father and he knew its contents. Books have become part of him. Recently his daughter said of him, there are lots of Shakespeare lines floating around in his head that just pop out from time to time. I just want to express appreciation to my dear companion for these 66 years. She's been absolutely wonderful. Everybody loves her because... <laughs> Keep talking, you're doing well. <laughs> Good right now. <laughs> Outreach. Well, I'm just thankful for her. Thank the Lord for the great blessing that she's been in my life. During the Saturday afternoon general conference, I was moved as I watched President Hinckley during one of the congregational hymns. He turned right around and looked at our BYU combined choir for the longest time. It was not just a brief glance. He stood there gazing. It seemed that he was surveying and studying each student. Well, just, just hold on to your tassels for another 10 or 15 minutes and we'll be out of here. Of occasions during the past two years, President Hinckley has described you as the finest generation in the history of the church. No from that one is exempt. President Hinckley does it. And so I have been reading the teachings of President Hinckley, and he writes. I have often heard President Hinckley refer to the young people of the church today. Is the case with President Hinckley's recent trip around the world? I think of great words. I think of our prophet Gordon B. President Hinckley gave counsel to you, sisters. When President Hinckley finished, he said, I urge the you audience to laughed program, as I watched President Hinckley come face to face with one of our distinguished guests about the way President Hinckley is pleading President with Hinckley new members today. President Gordon B. Hinckley said at your sister campus in President Hawaii, Gordon B. Hinckley will be 90 attempts this year. to rise to his feet. President Hinckley courteously said, David. Similarly, President Hinckley has observed that several years ago, President Hinckley announced President Hinckley remarked. We live in a world where knowledge is developing at an ever-accelerating rate. Drink deeply from this ever-springing well of wisdom and human experience. Keep everlastingly at it. Read, 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 read the Word of God in sacred books of Scripture. Read from the great literature of the ages. Read what is being said in our day and time and what will be said in the future. honor to be here. How very much I love you. How I honor you and respect you. 
You do great credit to this church. You are not everything you ought to be, but by and large, you're very good. And you can become what you ought to be. President Hinckley is fond of this quote by Jenkins Lloyd Jones. Life is like an old-time rail journey. Delays, sidetracks, smoke, dust, cinders, and jolts. Interspersed only occasionally by beautiful vistas and thrilling bursts of speed. The trick is to thank the Lord for letting you have the ride. Thank you, President Hinckley, for our beautiful journey together.